In this video, we will go through a quick overview and demo of Argo CD. Argo CD is a declarative GitOps continuous delivery tool for Kubernetes. More than just a deployment tool, Argo CD is also a powerful Kubernetes dashboard and management plane. It was designed from the ground up for enterprise use cases, including scalability, multi-tenancy, security, and extensibility. There are two main concepts in Argo CD. The first is an application, which is a logical grouping of related resources that you want deployed and managed as a unit. It defines two pieces of information, a source location, which is a path inside a Git repository containing your Kubernetes manifest, and the destination, which is a Kubernetes cluster and namespace for where you want to deploy that to. The second is a project. A project is Argo CD's unit of tenancy is typically created and managed by cluster operators and provisioned for developers teams. Projects allow operators to restrict tenants to specific clusters, namespaces, Git repositories, resource kinds, and even deployment windows. And now we'll do a quick demo of Argo CD. This is Argo CD's user interface. Here we are seeing the various applications that this Argo CD instance is currently managing. And let's go ahead and create a new application. Uh, for demo purposes, we have this Git repository of example applications, which you can use to play around with Argo CD. And today we'll be deploying a guestbook application, which is defined as a set of Kubernetes manifests inside this uh, customization directory. So after entering the Git URL, Argo CD will search the repository for any potential applications to deploy. And you can see that it discovered my customized guestbook directory. And then we'll choose a destination of where we want to deploy this to. Uh, I will be deploying to the same cluster that this Argo CD is currently running in, in the default namespace. Down here are some parameters that you can set for the application. And depending on what type of configuration management tool is being used, this section will provide different options to parameterize. Argo CD detected that the path contained a customized file, and so it understood to provide some customized specific options. So our app has been created, but it hasn't yet been deployed. And you'll see that Argo CD provides two main statuses. The first is a health status, which is an overall health summary of your application based on aggregating the health of the resources of that application. And currently, you can see that it has a health status of missing, which is a special status that just indicates that at least one resource is yet to be deployed. Next, we have the sync status, which is the overall synchronization status of the application. The sync status tells you if your application resources are in sync with what is in Git, or if there's some type of configuration drift, in which case you'll be out of sync. In the middle is our application resource tree. And this is showing you that there are six resources uh, which are being managed in Git a front-end deployment object, two Redis backends, and a couple of services. And each uh, item of the resource tree is selectable. And if we click into one of them, we can then see some of the details about that resource. Here we see that the diff of what the desired state of the system is and compared to the actual state. And this diff is basically saying that this entire resource needs to be deployed. So now let's deploy our application by clicking the sync button. So as you can see, Argo CD displays the activity of the application in real time. The resource tree is now showing you the ownership relationships between objects. For example, you can see that this deployment created a replica set, which then created these three pods. Uh, and you can also notice that the health of the application has uh, transitioned into a progressing status. And Argo CD 
uh, is able to assess the health of various resource kinds by interpreting its status. For example, a deployment, a healthy deployment must have all of its replicas available and all running the current version. And Argo CD comes bundled with health checks for many of the native Kubernetes kinds, as well as many popular open source custom resources. So now we have a healthy application, which is in sync with what is in Git. And from the resource tree, we can get details about pods. Um, you can see logs of the pods and also the events. So let's go ahead and deploy a new version of our application. And since this is GitOps, we'll go ahead and make that change uh, in our Git repository. And I'll be updating the version of the guestbook from version 6 to version 7. So now that we made that change, we can go ahead and refresh our application. And Argo CD is now reporting that the application is now out of sync from Git. And we can see from the resource tree that the front end deployment is what is causing that out of sync condition. And then clicking onto the front end deployment, we can see that there is a diff, uh, which is indicating that we should be running version 7, but its current state is version 6. So let's sync this application again. And as soon as we sync, uh, you can see the, that Kubernetes is bringing up that new replica set of that new version. Uh, but this time, this new pod isn't so healthy as indicated by this little red broken heart. And so to debug this, we can click into that pod and here we see that there are some warning events associated with that pod. And looking at these events, we can understand that uh, Kubernetes is unable to pull the image of the new version. Okay, so our application is now in a degraded state. So now that we should roll back our change. One way to do this is using the rollback feature of Argo CD. And some, from the history panel of the application, you can see the most recent syncs that were performed. And we want to go to the most recent version. So the rollback uh, reapplied our old manifest, and we are now back into a healthy state. But we are also now, once again, in a out of sync condition uh, from our desire to in Git, which is expected since we are no longer running the version at the tip of the branch. And at this point, we can uh, correct this state by going back to Git and reverting that commit. So that was just a short demonstration of Argo CD. And there's many more features which we didn't have time to cover in this video, including many of the ones on this list. To learn more about Argo CD, please visit our GitHub page, read our blog, or join our Slack.